this is my uh, Game Boy collection. A lot of people ask me, you know, what is this and where did I get this? Sometimes I get emails from people who collect Game Boy games as well. And they say, you know, oh, where, where did you get that binder? This is just something I picked up um, from the store. I think it's to um, keep, it might be to keep baseball cards in or something like that. So Game Boy games uh, fit fit well. Um, I have quite a few Game Boy games, and I think Game Boy games are good for live streams because when I do live streams, I typically like to do live streams for about like an hour to maybe like two hours. Sometimes I do like really long live streams, but typically I, I like to go for about an hour. And Game Boy games, um, you know, they're usually not too not too long, so I feel like Game Boy is a good is a good thing for for a live stream. I did uh, Mega Man, if you guys remember. I don't know if any any of you were in there for my Mega Man Game Boy live stream, but that was a really really tough game, um, and that one took me by surprise in how hard it was. I was actually expecting it to be no harder than, you know, I didn't even think it would be as hard as Mega Man 2 or something like that, but it actually ended up being maybe the, the hardest Mega Man game I had ever played. So you never know with with Game Boy, it'll it'll surprise you. So, yeah, I'm going to get the game uh, started here in just a minute. Uh, the Mason BB says your Mega Man live stream was dope. <laughs> How you doing, Con Man? How you doing, LJN Warrior? So, all right, let's uh, let's get started. Uh, that's a funny Spy Plus. Let's get started with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for Game Boy. Here we go. Stage one. Uh, I am using Super Game Boy, so you guys know. Uh, Leo, Raph, Mike, or Don? Um, I think I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna, gonna go with Leo. How you doing, Stone Gamer? All right. So the only way to distinguish which turtle you are is really just by your weapon, because there's no color here. Now the well, I mean, I guess there's a little bit of color. It's like red and red and white or something with the, with this. Really, on the um, on Game Boy, it would have been like kind of a light green and a dark green. Um, a lot of people remember Game Boy, they'll say, oh, Game Boy was black and white. Game Boy wasn't really black and white. It was... It was green. If you guys remember. But... I think that Super Game Boy should have had a setting. I know, I know you can change the colors and do all that stuff. Which, maybe I'll mess around with that. We actually did a video about... Super Game Boy not too long ago talking about how you can change the colors and do all that kind of stuff. But uh, I always thought it was weird that it, that wasn't like the preset setting for, for the Super Game Boy just to have it look like regular Game Boy. I always like the music on this stage. Whoa. So this was more along the lines of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade game. Then it was, it's just a side scrolling, very basic, as basic as it comes. Now, when I was a kid, I had, I got the Game Boy for Christmas and um, I had, uh, I had already played the Game Gear. And I was really a big fan of the Game Gear because it was in color and it was backlit. And um, Game Boy, you know, didn't really didn't really impress me. Um, but in years later, um, at some point later, I think when I was in high school or college, I got the Game Boy again. Because you got to remember, um, when I originally got the Game Boy, I, I was eight years old or something like that. And then um, then then you know, I sold it off, got rid of it, but then bought bought one again when I was uh, a little little bit older. And that's when I really started to learn to appreciate. Um, the Game Boy and uh, kind of what I what I missed out on, and um, I also had the, the Game Boy Color and all that. I loved um, Link's Awakening. I actually, uh, you know what? When I was younger, I do remember um, for Link's Awakening, I had a friend who had a Game Boy with Link's Awakening, and then that I think was the moment when I realized, oh shoot, I shouldn't have. Shouldn't have sold my Game Boy, because Link's Awakening was so awesome and one of the best Zelda games. 
And I ended up borrowing uh, Link's Awakening from a friend and, uh, and and playing it and beating it because that was the one game that I really, really wanted to play. And I was uh, lucky enough that my friend uh, let me do that. Uh, that was actually the same friend that stole Super Mario Brothers 3 for, from me. So you know what? I think I can say that he uh, he redeemed himself from stealing Super Mario 3 from me by letting me borrow Link's Awakening and borrowing uh, his Game Boy. So thanks thanks to him <laughs> for, for for doing that. We're we're both forgiven, I think. So anyway, uh, you know they just got the classic Ninja Turtle music playing here. Um, I forget the first boss of this. I want to say it's usually in these games it's rock steady. Um, but for some reason I'm feeling like it's going to be we're going to be fighting Baxter Stockman. Uh, I was actually going to do a video about this about the Ninja Turtle Game Boy games at one point. But um, I never I, I actually started editing it and what whatnot, but I never finished it. This is a few years ago. Um, I remember the third game giving giving me trouble. That one was pretty pretty difficult, much harder than the other uh, than, the, than the first two Game Boy Ninja Turtle games. And I think that one was called oh shoot Radical Rescue, if I'm not mistaken. Uh oh, here it comes! Whoa. So this is a classic game in its own right. Now we're gonna have to listen to this. Sorry. The the beeping. Come on. I'm almost out of energy here. Gonna need a pizza. Pizza shit. Alright. I need pizza. Can, now, can we walk back? Let's see. You can't walk back in this. It's only moving forward. So if you miss anything, you're screwed. Those are the Mausers, which appeared very early on in the uh, in the TV show. The invention of a Baxter Stockman. Not the. Knock the barrels out of the way, and we'll move on. Oh, and it is Rocksteady. I did guess that. Like I said, usually in these games, Rocksteady, they always make him the first boss, and I don't, never knew why exactly. Is he dead already? Well, that was easy. That was surprisingly uh, simple, even for, even for this. Uh, hey, there's Donatello. The enemy must be near. April is screaming. Ah! Oh god, I loved and hated this game. I hope it find I hope Mike finds all the hidden mini games. Hidden mini games. Am I going to see the new TMNT says Marco777. Um I haven't really decided. I didn't like the 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 first one. I didn't like the the one that came out a few years back, really. Um, so I don't know if I'm gonna see the new one. The uh, I like the fact that they got Bebop, Rocksteady, and Krang into the new thing. That's cool, but I don't really care for the style of it very much, like the way they're going about it. And I still don't like how they're representing the turtles at all. Um, so I don't know. I'll probably end up seeing it, but I don't know if I'm gonna go see it in the theater. Thanks, Vincent. All right, let's, uh, we're gonna do stage two. What were those things called? Those little flying bug things. <laughs> I don't, those I don't know the name of. Usually I know the name of a lot of these things, but not those. I bet they have a name, though. If anybody knows, let me know. 
Question for the chat. I was really happy when I did the uh, Ninja Turtle arcade game. People told me the name of um, um, the Rock Warrior, which I'm now forgetting again. There is um, General Trag, and there is... Oh god, now they, they told me now I can't remember again. Go look at my live stream. <laughs> I say it in that. Anybody know the name of those little guys? Appropriately Spartan says Nutfly. Brian Tylo also says Nuts. So they're called Nuts? Romper Stomper? Somebody says they're Romper Stompers. Mega Dan says they're called Fucking Flying Bug Things. <laughs> These Nuts. <laughs> What a shitload of fuck, exactly. Alright. Romper Stomper? Is that what they're actually called? Romper Stomper? Or are they... Ninja Bats? <laughs> Ninja Bat. Drake Nuts. They're called Cow Bunghole. Thank you, Pooper2471. <laughs> I don't think anybody knows what they're called. People are making things up in the chat. You know you know, people are making things up when they're going. They're called these nuts. You know what they're called, Mike? These nuts. <laughs> so we got Indiana Jones, Ninja Turtles. We got these nuts. I just kicked... Look, I just kicked these nuts. I'm kicking these nuts. Now, what is the difference between the darker foot soldiers, like the red, the darker, like maroon colored ones, and the the lighter ones? They don't seem to have any different mechanics to them. They're the same fucking thing. Oh, look how he, look how he goes down the steps. Look, look, look. Oh, 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 oh. I want to do it from the top. Let's go. Uh, 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 uh. You should go down on his ass. Actually, can you? Can you? Oh, man. They made me go to this part. Wait, I'm having fun here. Fucking around on the stairs. Leave me alone. Let's see. Can I duck and do it? No. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> stupid shit you can do in video games. Top 10 stupid, unnecessary fucking things you can do. How about that? How about in uh, Mario 2 when you can like look up her dress? <laughs> That's funny. That's right, Dustin. These nuts. Tubular transport. Somebody said. Uh, Z boy says tubular transports. T H G B H says tubular transports. A lot of people are are letting me uh, know the name of that. So they are called tubular. Transports. Those are really odd names for those. Oh, it's Fry Guy from Ninja. <laughs> not Ninja Turtle. It's Fry Guy from Mario Two, the American Mario Two. Ah, get me out of there! Fuck. All right. You know what? I should have been slashing those. I don't know what I'm doing. That was my bad. Oh, pizza! Oh my god. Okay, can I get it? Can I get it? Alright. Yes. There's just a pizza flying in the sky. Why would there be a pizza flying in the air like that? What's the fry, guys? Alright. Fucking foot soldier, fuck. At least they were smart enough to make that beeping stop after like two or three rings instead of just beeping and beeping endlessly. So that was a that was a smart decision on the designer's part. But I was gonna say, um, when I did originally get the Game Boy, this was one of the games that I got. This and um, Mario Land, and I think Tetris. Oh, fuck! 
fuck you, Bebop. I think I'm going to get killed here. Whoa! Yep. Leonardo was captured. Now, do they start us on the boss? I guess I'm going to go with... Uh, should I go with Michelangelo? Oh, shit. All right, the bosses are... Look at how he sticks his tongue out like that. Ugh. Tonight I dine on turtle soup. Leonardo was a wimp. Oh no, they escaped by car. Repeat 10 times the Konami code. I do, uh, Matt Johnson, I do have Castlevania Adventure. In fact, I think I have it right here. Let me see. Let's see if that's true or not. I believe I have a copy of it. That is the one thing, is I play the actual games on the actual systems, so if I don't own the physical copy of the game, I can't play it. But you are in luck. I do have Castlevania Adventure. I don't know if you can see that too well. But uh, I do plan to play that at some point. I don't know if we're going to do it uh, for James and Mike Monday or for um, do it on live stream or what. But so at some point I'll get to that. How you doing, Ryan Willie? Adrian Fahrenheit says, skip Castlevania Adventure, go straight for Belmont's Revenge. Bernard Skirpeck says, what is your favorite Team MNT game? Hmm, that is a good question. It's probably... I guess it's gonna, I guess it would have to be the Turtles in Time arcade game. Um, the only thing about that is that the Turtles in Time arcade game is a little redundant. Um, and that's actually what the really good thing about the first NES game is. There's a lot of variation to it. I actually really like the first NES game. Um, it might, <laughs> it might be the first NES game, although... The thing is, the first NES game had a lot of problems, which, you know, I definitely acknowledge, like the sewer jumping and things like that, but the game had so so much variety. Um, actually, oh, they're throwing Tetris blocks. Have you guys heard about the uh, Tetris trilogy of movies they're doing? I don't know how that's going to work, if it's going to be like, whoa, do you think the plot could be anything like Last Starfighter or something like that? It just seems like it's going to be a weird... I don't know how, what to do about those They're when they're throwing the Tetris blocks on my face. Fucking foot soldiers throwing Tetris blocks. Walking on top of Optimus Prime. So we're just going down the highway here. Killing foot soldiers, killing foot soldiers. See, that's the thing about these games is they are very... I mean, they're fun, but the ones that are like this are very redundant. All I'm really doing is just... You know, same thing, kind of over and over. There should be a dude throwing him right here, right? There you go, you can knock it back in his face. Just gotta get a little more, a little more distance on him. It might be that the the darker red, um, I don't know, what, you know, what else to call them besides red, but the darker colored uh, foot soldiers, they might be the ones that give off the pizza, possibly. Possibly not. Tubular transport! <laughs> oh! Those guys. Pizza? No pizza. Come on, Mikey. If you just wait for the tubular transports there. Oh, more pizza. Alright. Oh, and it's Baxter Fuckman! Come on!
Fuck you. Fuck you, motherfucker. Yeah. Dead. Dead as shit. Backs your fuck. Pause the game and the Konami code for health. Is that a real thing? I did not know that. Let's see if that works. Although I'm doing this on a Super Nintendo controller, so I'm not sure what the A B A B left right or I'd have to let's see, hang on. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B A, like start. Well I already heard half full health, actually, so why I shouldn't bother to do it right now. I don't know if that's true or not, or if somebody in the chat's just messing with me. That would be cool, though. I actually have never heard that, so I don't know that that's true or not. That would be cool. Oh, pizza. Didn't even need it yet. Oh. Uh-oh, it's the underwater. Is there gonna be electric kelp for me to fuck with? Ah! Maybe we'll find Napoleon Bonafrog down here, or Mondo Gecko. I always liked Mondo Gecko. Um, he did actually appear on the show, I believe, but uh, I really like the action figure of him. Usagi Yojimbo. Start just rattling off uh, Ninja Turtle character names. It's becoming uh, s slightly harder here. Not much, but you know, a tad. They're, they're throwing out a little more enemies than they were before. It's kind of a fun stage. A little bit of platforming. Platforming, uh, fighting involved here. All right, who is this the end already? Or oh, no, not yet. Ooh, is this the ooh? Is this the path to the Technodrome? Maybe. Pizza shit. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. Whoa. Balls! Balls! B -b 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 balls! <laughs> Mr. Bucket. All kinds of shit coming at me now. Got like electric bolts, Mausers, foot soldiers, flying fucking fish. No match for Michelangelo. I can't believe. Do you guys remember that time James forced me to watch the Turtle Tunes tape? Do you know we like we actually did that? Like I sat there and fucking watched that. It was so bad too. It was like Michelangelo, Michelangelo, Michelangelo. Oh 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 oh. Oh my god, those that tape is so bad. All those any of those singing Ninja Turtle things are just the worst fucking thing. Or the um the We Wish You a Turtle Christmas thing that was like I don't even remember what the songs were on that. They, they were just terrible. Oh the you remember the rap rap. That was one of them. Oh my god, Shredder already? I guess Krang's gonna be at the end. Oh god, oh god! Fuck you, fuck you. Oh my god. Okay, let's see if this works. I don't know. I don't think it works. <laughs> up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. I think. 
Yeah, I don't know that that works. I don't think that that worked, guys. So somebody in the chat was telling me that you could do the Konami code to fill your health, but it doesn't seem like you can. So. Fuck. I thought that you could throw stars somehow. I guess you can't. Fuck. I was trying to throw the stars. I should have been just fighting. Oh, uh, I guess we're gonna go, uh... Ah, I guess we're gonna go rap. I don't know. Oh, there you go. Raph's doing it. Not really helping on Shredder. Shit. The Shredhead! So you can't really jump out of the way. I'm not really sure what to do here. Fuck. Ah! Yeah, the darts don't do shit. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Shit. Ah! All right. Well, Donatello is much better to use because he has he has a long enough weapon to, you know, get the shredder and then be able to walk away from him. So, I guess use Donatello on that stage. <laughs> the king's got your back. We shredded the shredder. Guess we're using Donatello. <laughs> See, people were saying you hit up, but it's actually down. I mean, on the on what I'm planning on, at least. I don't know what it is on Game Boy, but I'm hitting down and A to throw the to throw those. But I don't know. Can you? It seems like when you jump, there's no way to there's no way to throw those when you jump. I don't think. Not that I can figure out, at least. Which is a shame. Because I was thinking maybe on Shredder I could have jumped and threw those at his head. But, you know, it, you can only duck and throw them. So. Oh, these guys. Uh, Roadkill Rodney's. Roadkill Rodney. Fuck. No. Ah. Give me some pizza. No. Fuck, fuck, fuck. This is not going too well. I wonder if they have continues in this, because I might die. Shit. Tubular transports. Come on, tubular transports. Give me give me some pizzas. They were handing out pizzas a lot earlier. They're not giving out shit now. They're like, fuck you, you're in the Technodrome. Deal with it. You know, even in the um, TMNT game on NES, they gave you pizzas in the Technodrome. All right, come on, come on, tubular transport. Oh, I thought you could hit those things, those, those balls, balls, marbles, marble madness. Oh fuck! And he got me from behind. Ah, so is there a continue? Oh my god, really? But we can start on five. Okay, well that works. Let's go back in there with Don and see what Don can do. Come on, Don. Roadkill Rodney's got no respect.
Whoa! See how close I was to that fucking thing? Alright. This is the first part of the game that I feel like is really providing a challenge. Um, it's actually really fun at this point in the game. Because um, it's a little bit harder now. Um, and they're throwing out enough enemies that it's, you know, it's a little more interesting than it was before. And there's a good, I will say for a Game Boy game too, there is a good variety of, uh, of enemies. You got Roadkill Ronnie's, you got Bebop, you got Rocksteady, you know, um, we've already fought Shredder, which is, which is funny that, I think that's great that they didn't make Shredder the final boss, they're actually gonna do Krang, I would imagine. Um, so that's great. This is a, this is really a top, top tier NES game. NES game, a top tier Game Boy game, I meant to say. Sorry, I'm trying not to get killed. Oh, there we go. Pizza. You know, I got really nothing to complain about with this game. The controls are good. There's a good variety of characters. Um, it's a little short, I guess I could say that. It could probably be a longer game. Alright, so at this point, if I if I die, I can just switch to one of the other turtles. There we go. I don't know if you can kill those. Whoa! What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that thing? Oh my god. Holy shit, alright. It's just a giant trap. I like the traps from Zelda. Jump! Fuck! Oh, come on! Jumps up out of nowhere. Motherfucker! <laughs> Alright, should I go with, uh, should I go with Leo? Vanilla Ice Wrap. That's what the chat's talking about. Go ninja, go ninja, go! Go ninja, go ninja, go! Go, go, go! I fucking jumped, come on. Heroes in a half shit and the green. Damn! I, like... It's really hard to jump quick enough over this. There we go. You really gotta be anticipating it. There we go. I mean, you got the theme song in there, so, you know, no problem with the music. They got other other tunes throughout, you know, interspersed throughout the game, like original, some original tracks, which is cool. Game probably could have been another Another two stages longer. That's about the only complaint I got. Come on. Roadkill. Jump! Alright. See, if you're already slicing or using your weapon, um, then it's... You're delayed on the jump. Because he's already in the middle of doing a maneuver. Whoa, jump. Alright. Jump. 
Oh, you can you can kill all those things. Oh, full pizza! You don't see full pizzas too often. Oh shit! It's Krang! Fuck you! Piece of fuck! Krang's body. From Dimension X. Oh, look at his eyeballs bugging out. That's it? He's dead? He was a lot easier than Shredder. Because Shredder had the um, katana blade that came out, and that was a little bit hard to avoid. Okay. And I assume that's the end of the game. We are here to save April. You saved me. Thank you, turtles. What a riveting plot. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Heroes in a half shell. Turtle power. April O'Neil deserves an Oscar for her role. I agree with that. Who is my favorite turtle? My favorite turtle has always been Raph because I liked his, uh, like his attitude. <laughs> Because he's brood. How rude.